Australia is the world's biggest island, and although Sydney Harbour and the Opera House are impressive, they can't touch the wonder of Ayers Rock, which is 1,200 miles west of Sydney in the middle of the desert. Despite the fact it is so isolated, it still pulls in a steady stream of visitors. Ayers Rock is called Uluru by its original owners, Australia's Aborigines. It's the biggest single rock in the world. It stands over 1,100 feet high and it is six miles in circumference. Every year it draws up to 400,000 visitors who come deep into the outback to marvel at this wonder. Unless you want to fly, getting to Ayers Rock involves quite a trip. There's a 1,200 mile rail journey, much of it across a featureless desert to Alice Springs, the nearest town to Ayers Rock. Then you've got 270 more miles of desert to cross. To experience Uluru, more than 1,000 tourists a day arrive here in the geographical center of Australia. Half of them content themselves with taking a photograph from the ground of this colorful colossus. Its characteristic rusty red color is actually caused by rust, by the oxidation or rusting of iron particles in the rock itself. But half of all the tourists want something a bit more stretching, a climb to the top. This is not without risk, however. Twisted ankles are common, and there have even been fatalities. We've traveled sort of like 2,000 miles virtually through the desert, you know, and there's this rock here, and it's just a challenge. You know, it, it just wants to be climbed, basically. You have to do what you feel right doing, and I wanted to climb, so I climbed. <laughs> but all the visitors want to toast the end of the day with a refreshing beverage. But for others, the rock is a sacred site. All this land round about us, the rivers, the creek, the ranges and the hills was created at the time of Chukupa, the time we call the dream time. In Dreamtime legend, Uluru plays a vital role in the creation of the whole world, and it's said to contain women's secrets a knowledge that forms the critical link in the initiation of young girls into adulthood. It's a really important sacred place. There are many national parks in Australia around Melbourne and Sydney, but here this is an Aboriginal national park with very strong rules. It's a very sacred place which is really important to us. Because it's a site of such deep spiritual significance, the Inangu Aboriginal people try to dissuade visitors from climbing Uluru. They offer Aboriginal guided tours instead. Unless you fancy sleeping under the stars, the nearest alternative can be found just a few kilometers north, the air-conditioned resort of Uluru. Everything to keep the tourist happy and a rock view. Whether it's stories of the dream time, the isolation, or just something in the air, the magic of Uluru gets all who visit it.